Okay, last week we talked about how to fit a backpack. This week we're gonna talk about how to pack a backpack. Let's go. Oh, it's a little bright out here. Okay, so this gear that I've got around me is the gear that I would pack for a three or maybe four day backpacking trip. It's all gonna fit into a 50 liter backpack. So all of this gear is gonna fit into a 50 liter backpack. I actually generally use a 48 liter pack. This pack is not mine. I am between packs at the moment, but wanted to shoot this video. For sort of clarity's sake, I've got a 17 degree down sleeping bag, a two person backpacking tent, food for three days, three and a half days, rain gear, first aid kit, extra clothing, all the stuff that I would need. Also for clarity, there isn't one way to pack a backpack. This is a way. This is the way that I do it and the way that I've been taught to do it by various people. But there are some things that people do wrong and I'm going to point those out as we do them. The first thing I have to do is uh, stuff and compress my sleeping bag and deflate my sleeping pad. My sleeping bag is going to go into a waterproof compression stuff sack. And I do a lot of things. I do a lot of things in waterproof bags because I'm a kayaker, so I have waterproof bags. But I also tend to do trips in the cold and the wet. Uh, and so I'm fine doing that as long as I know that I'm sleeping tonight in a warm, dry sleeping bag. And so that's a great reason to do a waterproof compression stuff sack. The ones that I use are made by Sea to Summit. They have event fabric on the bottom so you can squeeze the air out of them and they're still waterproof. You can see this is a very fluffy down sleeping bag, but it is gonna compress down pretty small. That is the beauty of down. With sleeping pads, we want to roll them to the towards the valve. And I generally roll them twice just to make sure I'm getting all the air out. And I got this sleeping bag, particularly because it's so small. It weighs 15 ounces, it packs really small. In a kayak, not a big deal. In a backpack, a really good thing. Okay, sleeping bag is gonna go in first. This bottom section of a backpack is called the sleeping bag compartment, specifically because we want light stuff in the bottom of the sleeping bag, heavy stuff right behind our back, and medium weight stuff sort of filling in around. Uh, but I'm gonna put that down there. I remove or open the divider uh, from the sleeping bag compartment to the main compartment. I just find it easier to go into the top. If I need to get my bag, I can grab it through the bottom, but in general, I just go in through the top. For the moment, that is all I'm gonna put in there because what we need to talk about next is the tent. So most people see the tent bag like this and they say, okay, what am I gonna do with this? Uh, this is gonna take up my whole pack. So I guess I'll put it on the outside of my pack. The problem with that is that we don't want are we don't want something heavy like this on the outside of an internal frame pack. Internal frame packs want everything on the inside. And so the way that we're gonna get around that is that we are not gonna pack it like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove it from this bag. 
<coughs> there are our poles. This tent is brand new. Normally I would just stuff it. There is our rain fly. There is our body. There are our stakes. And so what I'm going to do is inside the backpack on either side of the sleeping bag is some open space. And that's where the body and the rain fly are going to go. And I'm just going to stuff them on in there. So now, tent, sleeping bag, yeah, tent, rainfly, sleeping bag are in my pack, filling up to about there. That's where my hand is on the inside. So now, tent, sleeping bag, yeah, tent, rainfly, sleeping bag are in my pack, filling up to about there. That's where my hand is on the inside. Now I can start loading other things in here, heavier stuff right behind my back. And so that is going to be food. This is about six pounds of food, which is good for me for about three and a half days, about just under two pounds per person per day. Lighter than that is extra clothing. This is going to be a conversation for another day. That's going to go directly next to that. So you can see still a fair amount of space in there. That is stove, pot, fuel. Cup with a, or bowl with a lid. coffee maker, sleeping pad. So you can see still a fair amount of space in there. Sleeping pad, coffee, pot, bowl. That might be all that is going in the body of this, so let's seal it up. Okay, in this top pocket, I always bring a paperback book, toothbrush, toothpaste. Also in this top pocket is my phone, which would be turned off and in a waterproof bag. This time it's a, uh, just a Ziploc. Water filter. trowel, and soap. There is a smaller pocket above that, and in there I'm going to throw long-handled spork for freeze-dried food, and headlamp. I always pack a knife, but that's going to go in my pocket. Then, in this shove it pocket, is going to go my rain gear. So, rain pants, where I can get to them easily. Rain jacket. And a 
pretty mammoth first aid kit. Okay, so all I have left, map and compass, two water bottles, tent stakes, which can go in that. These are gonna go in the waist belt pocket. water bottle down each side and I actually use a hydration reservoir I'm actually in between hydration reservoirs as I'm getting ready to move a lot of gear has been purged and my reservoir was pretty old so I decided to get rid of it the white water bottle is actually to go to the bathroom and the pee bottle for the middle of the night um, I'm a 50 year old guy I pee all night long this is a water bottle that I like to have for around camp The last part of my tent are these tent poles, which are going to go down this compression strap and into the water bottle pocket. The only things that aren't in this pack right now are the stuff sack for my tent, which isn't going with me, my boots, which would be on my feet, my fleece, which would probably be on my body. That's it. I would probably get, if I were in, if I were really bringing bear spray with me, I would probably get a holster for this to have it on the waist belt so it's a little bit easier to get to, but it does fit down here into this pocket with this extra water bottle. Bear spray has to be accessible or it's not going to do you any good. But that took me 15 minutes to fully pack a pack that honestly I've never packed before. Uh, and so pretty straightforward, pretty easy, uh, and ready to go. All of this stuff is in my book, uh, Simple Guide to Backpacking which is available on Amazon or Apple Books. Uh, it's a really tiny book, but it has lots of information like this, how to pack your pack, how to select your gear, all sorts of things like that. If this sort of stuff is working for you, hit like, hit subscribe. You can buy me a cup of coffee on Coffee. There's a link down below. Otherwise, I'll see you outside.